Ducati has firmly established its dominance, not only in the MotoGP and World Superbikes Championships, but guess what? They have also made an audacious entry into the exciting realm of Moto E with its debut electric bike. What electrifying innovations will Ducati bring to the world of motorcycling? Stay tuned to find out. At the French Grand Prix last month, over 278,000 spectators attended the extraordinary Le Mans. Moreover, it confirmed Ducati's dominance in the world of two-wheeled racing. The success story continued to unfold in France, where Ducati exhibited remarkable performance by securing five podium finishes out of six possible opportunities. Two notable victories were achieved by their talented riders, Jorge Martin and Marco Betziecki, further solidifying Ducati's position as a force to be reckoned with. Their exceptional track record at the French Grand Prix showcased their unwavering determination and unmatched skill. Beyond their exceptional racing achievements, Ducati seized the opportunity at the French Grand Prix to make an impactful statement with their debut electric bike, the V21L. This marked a significant milestone in the brand's journey towards embracing sustainable technology. Serving as a prototype for the FIM Moto E World Championship, the V21L embodies Ducati's commitment to staying at the forefront of innovation. Looking ahead, Ducati has laid out an ambitious plan for the next four years, focusing on the development and integration of electric motorcycles alongside their revered internal combustion models. This forward-thinking approach not only ensures their continued success, but also signifies their commitment to preserving their rich heritage while embracing the advancements of a rapidly changing world. The baptism of the V21L at Le Mans stands as a significant moment in Ducati's illustrious history. The event marked another remarkable chapter in their sporting legacy, punctuated by the manufacturer's relentless pursuit of excellence. Ducati achieved glory in 2022 in MotoGP when it won the riders, manufacturers, and teams crowns, as well as the WSBK categories. Even in 2023, the company conquers a world that is very far from its factory-based philosophy by immersing itself in the business of supplying electricity. Similarly, 2022 marked the peak of Ducati's boom period. Claudio Domenicali, CEO of Ducati, described it as the best year in the company's history. In that year, Ducati achieved unprecedented levels of sales, and the Bolognese brand broke the billion euro barrier with 61,562 motorcycle sales worldwide, a record number for Marque, even in remote locations such as Brunei, Ecuador, El Salvador, or Mongolia. Is there an empire of Ducati? Frankly, I cannot say for sure, said Roberto Kane, the director of e-mobility at Ducati, responsible for spearheading the latest electric motorcycle project. He continued saying, However, what I do know is that we are currently living in a moment of great historical significance, the result of the tireless efforts of countless passionate individuals. With a hint of humor, Kane jokingly refers to the electric motorcycle endeavor as a crazy project made by crazy people, alluding to the audacious nature of their mission. Their primary objective is to acquire valuable know-how in the realm of electric motorcycles, acknowledging the possibility of Ducati venturing into this domain in the future. The fruits of their labor are undeniable, with Ducati's increasing popularity becoming apparent not only in the market for their products, but also on the racing circuit. Paolo Ciabatti, the sports director of Ducati Course, asserts that their leadership in various market segments and the reverence they command with their diverse range of models are not merely coincidental, but the outcome of years of dedicated work. Three core departments within Ducati, racing, product development, and research and development, collaborate meticulously with the looming presence of Audi and VW Group, lending support from the shadows. The collective efforts of these teams have led to Ducati's emergence as a formidable force in the industry. Chibati further emphasizes a shift in dynamics within the MotoGP landscape, stating, I cannot provide a definitive answer, but it is my belief that European companies have developed competitive bikes in MotoGP, indicating a new trend. He notes that in the past it was the Europeans who struggled to keep up, while the Japanese held the upper hand. However, advancements in technological capabilities have enabled a more creative and unconventional approach to the racing process, facilitated by faster response times, production techniques, and decision-making speeds. Domenicali, the CEO of Ducati, succinctly summarizes the brand's success, emphasizing their mission to epitomize the essence of made in Italy. Combining design, innovation, and technology, these pillars form the very foundation upon which the future of motorcycling is being molded. 
In fact, Ducati has ambitious plans to make its debut in motocross in 2024, venturing into uncharted territory with the aspiration not only to participate, but to conquer. From surpassing billion euro sales to reigning as champions in MotoGP and World Superbikes, Ducati's dominance is undeniable. Their entry into electric motorcycles and forthcoming debut in motocross signal an exciting future. What do you think of all this? Let us know in the comments section. Stay tuned for more updates and subscribe to MotoGP Zarathos for the latest from the world of MotoGP.